from Mark Cuban accumulating over $2 million in fines, to Ben Simmons literally getting the biggest one in NBA history. Here are the biggest fines in NBA history that cost teams a fortune. Starting off with Joe DeMars. Back in 2010, Adrian Wojnarowski, also known as Woj, dropped a massive bomb on Detroit Pistons GM Joe DeMars. How massive? Try $500,000 big. Here's what went down. The NBA discovered that insiders were leaking confidential league memos left and right. So they decided to construct a sting operation to catch the culprit. They sent out slightly different memos to each team and waited to see which version would end up in the press. And wouldn't you know it, Dumars got caught red-handed. He was leaking info to Wodge in exchange for some favorable coverage of himself and the Pistons. What a rookie move, am I right? But can we really blame Dumars for wanting some good press? I mean, the Pistons weren't exactly lighting up the league at the time. And he was definitely feeling the heat. Let's just say he wasn't exactly a shining star in the GM world. Speaking of hefty fines in the NBA, let's move on from Joe DeMars and take a look at another team that was hit with a significant penalty for their actions. I'm talking about the San Antonio Spurs. Let's take a trip down memory lane to 2012, when the NBA dropped a hefty $250,000 fine on the San Antonio Spurs. Why you ask? Well, because their head coach, Greg Popovich, made the bold move of resting his star players during a big game against LeBron James and the Miami Heat. The league was not happy about it, claiming that Popovich's decision was a disservice to the league and fans. But hey, the Spurs had their reasons, right? I mean, they were one of the biggest teams in the Western Conference, and probably wanted to conserve their energy for the playoffs. And you know what? It kinda paid off. The Spurs went on to face the Heat in the NBA Finals not once, but twice in the following years. So was Popovich a genius or just crazy? I'll let you be the judge of that. Now, the San Antonio Spurs aren't the only ones who had to pay for their mistakes. Mickey Arison did too. Once upon a time, Miami Heat owner Mickey Arison had a little Twitter mishap. It was during the 2011 NBA lockout, and Arison was feeling a little hot under the collar. He decided to publicly vent his frustrations by calling the NBA management a bunch of greedy bastards who made stupid decisions which was, of course, not a good look. The league's officials weren't amused, and swiftly reminded Arison that there are some things team owners and players can't say in public. And to teach him a lesson, they smacked him with a hefty $250,000 penalty. Let this be a lesson to us all. Think twice before hitting that tweet button. Now this next NBA player not only got a fine, but a lifetime ban too. Yep, I'm talking about Mark Stevens. Mark Stevens, a minority stake owner in the Golden State Warriors, got fined a whopping $500,000 and was banned for life from the NBA, all for shoving Toronto Raptors' Kyle Lowry during Game 3 of the 2019 NBA Finals. Jeff Van Gundy made things worse by initially defending Stevens on national TV, but ultimately retracted his statement after realizing that the push was a clear violation of league rules. It's crazy to think that a fan could push an NBA player during a game, but the league took the incident seriously and handed down a heavy punishment. But as huge as these fines may be, none of them can compare to this next player. It's none other than Mark Cuban, of course. Mark Cuban, the owner of the Dallas Mavericks, is known for being a bit of a loose cannon when it comes to speaking his mind. And boy, has he paid for it. With over 20 fines from the NBA, he's racked up a whopping $2,240,000 in penalties. Yikes! His biggest fine came in 2018 when he spoke out about tanking, a controversial strategy used to improve a team's chances of getting a high draft pick. Cuban was fined $600,000 for his comments. Worse, he's been fined $500,000 not once, but twice, for complaining about referees. But you know what they say, all's well that ends well. That tanking strategy landed the Mavericks' Luka Doncic, a rising star in the NBA. So maybe that $600,000 fine was worth it after all. Or maybe Cuban just really likes paying the NBA's bills. Now this next NBA player got fined for some really racist comments. 
It's Donald Sterling. Let me tell you a story about a guy who learned the hard way that being racist is not cool, especially if you own an NBA team. Donald Sterling, the former owner of the Los Angeles Clippers, got himself in hot water when TMZ Sports leaked a recording of him making some seriously offensive comments to his mistress, V. Stiviano. Honey, I'm sorry. I'm sorry too. I wish I can change the skin, the color of my skin. That is the issue. You missed the issue. What's the issue? The issue is we don't have to broadcast it. I'm not that. broadcasting anything. Sterling was recorded saying stuff like, it bothers me a lot that you want to broadcast that you're associating with black people. And the little I ask you is not to bring them to my games. Not cool, dude. NBA commissioner Adam Silver wasn't having any of that nonsense and banned Sterling from the league for life. He also slapped him with the biggest fine allowed under the NBA rules. As you can imagine, the public pressure was immense. And Sterling eventually sold the team to Steve Ballmer for a cool $2 billion. But it wasn't all smooth sailing. Sterling tried to sue the NBA for a billion bucks, but eventually gave up and let his wife sell the team to Ballmer. Unfortunately, Sterling isn't the only one who made offensive comments in the NBA. Let's talk about Robert Sarver. This Phoenix Suns owner got slapped with a massive $10 million fine for being a terrible boss. Apparently, he created a poisonous work environment, threw around racist insults, and treated his female and minority employees like garbage. And it wasn't just a bunch of rumors either. ESPN published an article that spilled all the tea on Sarver's scandalous ways. Some of the messed up things he did include making inappropriate comments about his employees' appearances, and even telling a coach to fire a minority agent. Yikes! The NBA didn't take kindly to Sarver's actions, and after an independent investigation, they hit him with the heaviest single fine in league history. They also suspended him for a year. But that's not even the end of the story. Folks in the league, including some top players and sponsors, wanted Sarver to sell the team and get out of the NBA altogether. Well, Sarver eventually gave in and sold the Suns for a whopping $4 billion. Not too shabby, considering he only paid $4 million for the team back in 2004. Oh, and he also had to sell his shares in the Mercury Phoenix organization too. Good riddance, Sarver. Finally, let's wrap this video up with the single biggest fine in NBA history. Of course, I'm talking about none other than Ben Simmons himself. The 76ers hit him with a $1.4 million fine for missing four preseason games. And that's just the beginning. The team kept slapping him with fines for every game he missed until he had to cough up over $17 million in fines for the 2021-2022 season. Ouch! Simmons tried to excuse his absences by saying he had back problems and mental health issues, but the team wasn't buying it. They even made him see a shrink, but he refused to work with them. And that's how you end up with the biggest total fine in NBA history. And that's all for the biggest fines in NBA history that cost teams a fortune.